place we can go today And it's a place where we all can play Friendly faces, lots of fun, you see And I know it's there for you and me It's a colorful world we live in There's a rainbow faces everywhere today. Do you like the way I drew it? There's going to be an ice skating rink made of frozen juice. And there's a slide and all the walls are different colors. Now I just need my friends to help me build it. Benny! It's time to build my fort. Gotcha. Just have to find my favorite bone first. I can't remember where I buried it. Found this, though. A cream doodle from the year 1979. <laughs> Still fresh. Ooh. Ew. No, it's not. It's gross. I'll help you find your bone after we build the fort. Deal? Deal. Let's go find Pickle. Pickle? Step right up, folks, and see the flying worminis. They're worms, they're related, and they fly. Pickle taught me everything I know. Ready to build my fort? Sure, let's go. Back up. Can't forget that we're meanies. One, two, three, four. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. Hi, Sophie. What you doing? <laughs> the tango. Thanks, Mitzi. You're perfectly welcome. It must be time to build a fort. Let's go, Mitzi. One, two, three, four. Now, which barrette looks best for fort building? This one? Or this one? Mm, I always like this one, Stella. Hey! Let's build the slide first. How about we build a ramp for our skateboards? We could vroom and That's not how I... We need star-shaped windows. But I drew it like... And instead of an ice skating rink, let's have a swimming pool. I don't know about this. Oh! A ramp? Star-shaped windows? A swimming pool? No, that's not the way I drew it. So? So, it was my idea to build the fort. 
So we have to build it my way. My fort looked good just the way I drew it. If nobody's gonna listen to me, then I'm out of here. Todd's really angry. Should we go after him? Why don't we give him a chance to cool down first? I say let's start building the fort. Todd can help us when he comes back. I'm starting the swimming pool. They're ruining my fort. What'll it be today, Todd? Igloo pop. Extra tall. Thanks. One planet Earth pop, please. What you doing? Mm, building my nest. It's gonna take a long time that way. That's the way I do it, and I'm going as fast as I can. I'll help you. I'm good at building stuff. No thanks. I don't need any help. I guess she doesn't want to listen to my ideas either. Don't forget to recycle, Todd. Oh, right. Hey, Hector. Could I have these sticks, please? Sure. Thanks. Excuse me. But I was wondering if you could use these sticks for your nest. No, thank you. But take a look at them. They really might work. Hmm. You know, with sticks like that, you could build a real house. Like this. Ooh. I never thought of building one like that. I like it. Very nice. Would you like to use my ribbon? Oh, I don't think we need a ribbon. But maybe there's something we could do with it. It would add some color. Yes. Maybe it would. Hmm. You're right. It looks nice. You can use this for a roof. Great idea! You can have these for your house. Thank you. Monkey underpants? What can you do with monkey underpants? I don't know, but I'm sure I'll think of something. <laughs> That doesn't look exactly like what I drew. But I still like it. Me too. I would never have thought of using igloo popsticks or a glass bubble or monkey underpants. Thanks, everybody. I wouldn't have thought of a lot of that cool stuff either. Shaped windows do look cool. And I could ride my skateboard down that ramp. <laughs> okay, fill her up. Swimming pools are fun in the summer. And when it freezes in the winter, we can ice skate on it. And it still looks a little like my picture. things with the fort. I'm sorry I didn't want to listen to your ideas. Well, we're sorry too. Yeah, we weren't listening to your ideas either. But we didn't change everything. We kept a lot of what you drew. We all had good ideas. And now you and I can go skateboarding, Todd. <laughs> what? Nice swimming pool. Well, it's actually a little small for us to swim in, but maybe fish can swim in it. For a wild turkey.
happy. Double, double. Cool. You know, I have something else we can use for the fort. Oh, yeah? What? Monkey underpants. Monkey underpants? What are we going to do with those? I'm sure I'll think of something, or maybe someone else will. Monkey underpants make good window curtains and also good bathing caps for wild turkeys. Even if you think your idea is the best one, it's good to listen to what other people think, too. Sometimes other people's ideas can help you make your idea even better. That's what happened to me today. See you next time. Love, Todd. Hi, I'm Todd, and this is my world. Stella's different ears. fun at the fair. We're gonna ride in the giant milkshaker and after our stomachs are all gurgle, we're gonna eat peanut butter popcorn. Whoa! Slow down, Benny! Hey! Dog's gotta eat! I don't like spiders. But this one's teaching me to dance the boogie boogie. Winner for smallest elephant. Winner for biggest mouse. Oh, girls. Love the hair bows. I'm sure you'll win for best dressed sheep. Do you really think so, Stella? Uh, I hope we're not underdressed. Allow me to accessorize. Well, what do you think? Ooh, not bad. <laughs> and all the colors match. Winner for best dressed <laughs> sheep. <laughs> Come on, Stella. We want to ride the carousel. Look at that girl. She looks funny, Mama. Her ears are two different colors. <gasps> he laughed at me? Am I really funny looking? Am I really the only one whose ears are two different colors? with two different colored ears. I don't want to be different. I am never going to let anyone see my ears again. Come on, Stella. Let's ride the donut coaster. Uh, you guys go on without me. Okay. Why don't you want to go, Stella? You wouldn't understand. I'm not like the rest of you. That's true. Stella's the only one with 50 million skadillion hair bows. 51 million skadillion. But that wasn't what I meant. <laughs> what do you mean, Stella? Oh, never mind. Okay, we'll see you at the next ride. Sit this one out. Are you feeling okay, Stella? Of course I'm okay. Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Like there's something wrong with the way I look. I'm not looking at you like that. Just go on without me, okay? 
What's up with Stella? Come sign up for the Bobbing for Apples contest and win a blue ribbon. I'm really good at bobbing for apples. I spoosh and I brrrr and I hush faster than anybody. Oh, I've always wanted to win a blue ribbon. Me too. Uh, you know what? I'm really not in a bobbing for apples kind of mood right now. I don't get it, Stella. Don't you want to have fun? I just don't want to mess up my hair, okay? A star always has to look her best. <laughs> What's wrong with messy hair? My hair gets messy all the time. Maybe she's hiding something under there. Something strange. Maybe she's hiding a green fish with three eyes. Or maybe she's got a beehive under her hair with a zillion bees. That wouldn't happen to be a honey-flavored beehive, would it? Well, whatever she's got under there, something's bothering her. Let's go find her and help her feel better. Winner for the turtle with the longest beard. Which way did Stella go? I think she went, uh, that way. Thanks. Either that's a really big jumping bean, or we found where Stella is hiding. Okay, Stella, we know you're in there. Come out with your hair up. Why'd you run away like that, Stella? What's wrong? Nothing. It's got to be something, Stella. Come on, tell us. You wouldn't understand, Pickle. You're not a weirdo. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, so maybe you would understand. Understand what? <sighs> Fine, I'll show you. But don't laugh. You have an ear? Wait till you see the other one. Wow! Your ears are really clean, Stella. Hello, my ears are two different colors. So, what's wrong with that? A baby monkey laughed at me. Oh, Stella, don't listen to the baby monkey. I think your ears are very pretty. I think so too. I'd like to paint your ears sometime. I think they're colorful enough already. I mean, I'd like to paint a picture of them. Look, it's really nice of you all to try to make me feel better, but you just don't understand how it feels to be laughed at and how it feels to be different. What's so great about being like everybody else? Then you wouldn't be you. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be green, or yellow, or even blue. Remember, you're special and important, just because you are you. Winner for most colorful ears. Yay! Yay! That's great, Stella. And your ribbon even matches your ear. It does, doesn't it? You know, maybe there is something good about having two different colored ears. What's that? I can match twice as many things. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, it needs something. Cotton candy. It needs. And tasty too. Love the hat, Stella. Where can I get one just like that? I'll make you another one. See, Stella. Now everybody wants to be as colorful as you. 
Cotton candy makes a delicious hat and looks good on everybody, no matter what color your ears are. And even if you don't have any ears at all, no one looks exactly like anyone else. Everyone's different in some way. That's what makes you special. See you next time. Love, Todd. Hey everyone, let's listen to the Todd World Music Video Jukebox. in my head, and I have to draw them before I forget. What should I draw first? I know! Macaroni and cheese in a blue bowl. What you got, Benny? Corn! Gonna plant a popcorn tree. You in? Mmm, I'd love to plant a popcorn tree with you, Benny. But today I want to draw. Don't sweat it. Catch you later. Okay, have fun. This macaroni and cheese is making me hungry. Except when I eat it, I always make a big mess. Hmm, I know. Hi, Benny. <laughs> that bag looks heavy, Pickle. What have you got in there? One can of whipped cream, one bunch of bananas, and a big bag of lima beans. <laughs> I know what that means. Yep, Todd and I are gonna make our most favorite extra scrumptious dessert. A banana, banana lima, lima bean, bean split. split. I'll get right on it. So, you want me to put on the whipped cream and lima beans for you? Todd and I like to do that part ourselves. Thanks, Hector. Lucky day, Toto. You are invited to help me eat our most favorite extra scrumptious dessert. A, a banana, banana lima, lima bean split. I saved a lima bean so we could put them on together. Neato mosquito. I love banana lima bean splits. But I'm not very hungry. I just ate macaroni and cheese in the bathtub. Does your stomach hurt? Nope. How about if I just come in and we play monkey tag? <laughs> I would like to play with you, but I want to finish my drawing. By yourself? Well, it's kind of easier that way, but maybe we can hang out later, okay? I don't get it. Todd never turned down a banana lima bean split before. There's something very strange going on. <laughs> The frogs are waiting for us. Which is exactly why I need the right frog green barrettes. Which do you think is froggier? This one or this one? Mmm, look the same to me. Now, hi, Pickle. We're going to the pond to play leapfrog with the frogs. Want to come? No thanks, Sophie. What's the matter, Pickle? Todd's acting weird. He said he'd rather draw by himself than play with me or eat our most favorite extra scrumptious dessert. A, A banana, banana lima bean split? Wouldn't touch it. That is weird. Is Todd 
Todd feeling okay? I don't know. Well, maybe he just wasn't in an ice cream sort of mood. But I'm sure he'd love to play leapfrog with us. Yeah, don't worry, Pickle. I'm sure Todd is fine. Hmm. What should I draw next? <laughs> Looking good, Todd. Hi, guys. Love the hat, Todd. Hmm? Oh, I always wear underpants on my head when I draw. It keeps my head warm so I can think better. Well, now that you're done drawing, pack up your flippers. We're all going to the pond to play leapfrog. With real frogs. Wow, leapfrog? I love leapfrog. Great. Except... I'm not done drawing. I still have a bunch more pictures I really want to do. But you guys go ahead. See you later, okay? Bye. Bye? He turned us down? You're right, Pickle. This is strange. And getting stranger. Hmm. What should I paint next? A sock? Boring. But not if I draw it on an elephant's trunk. Or maybe... He's just standing there, staring into space. He didn't want a banana lima bean split. He didn't want to play leapfrog. And now it looks like he doesn't want to do anything at all. Something's wrong with Todd. Very, very wrong. What are we going to do? Let's ask Benny. He'll know. And he's not here. I saw him going somewhere this morning. Without Todd? I guess Todd didn't want to play with him either. Now I know something's wrong with Todd if he doesn't want to play with Benny. Todd must be feeling sad about something. Maybe. Well, we'll just have to cheer Todd up. We'll find something that's so much fun to do, he won't be able to stay sad. Yeah, something that's big, crazy, not Hello, little monkey. You know, I can talk monkey just like you. <laughs> Sophie, Stella, do you hear that? <laughs> Todd is sad. He's crying. He's kicking <laughs> and ooh, ooh, ooing and I, I, I. Pickle? We'll make you feel better, Todd. Wait till you see it. Huh? Hop on, Todd. Time for an elephant ride. What can be more fun than that? Needle mosquito. Mm, riding an elephant does look like fun. But I'm in the middle of drawing something that I really want to finish. I'll try and come out later, though. Bye. How can he say no to an elephant ride? I don't believe it. What do we do now? <laughs> now that's what I call trunk space. Benny, where have you been all day? You've got to help us. Todd's so sad, he was crying. Do you know why he's so sad? He must have told you. Sad? Nah, he was fine this morning. Said he wanted to draw. That can't be it. I know there's something bothering Todd. It's been bugging me all day. So why don't you just ask him? <laughs> now what do you guys want? Okay, Todd, tell us. Tell you what? You didn't want to ride an elephant with us. Or play leapfrog. Or eat our most favorite extra scrumptious dessert. A banana lima bean split! So tell us, Todd, what's wrong? Nothing. Huh? It's not that I didn't want to do those things with you. I love playing with you guys, but today I felt like doing some stuff on my own. That's it? That's it! Really? Told you. Oh. Oh. Oh! This is something I'll never forget. 
Sometimes I like to be on my own, too. I like going to the aquarium and watching the jellyfish get all squiggly. I like to sit in my backyard at night and listen to the stars whispering to each other. I like to count my barrettes. To make sure I didn't lose any. I get it, Todd. I'm sorry I kept bothering you. You want to be on your own right now? I did. Now I'm done drawing. Maybe we can play together. Oh, yeah! <sighs> and I know exactly what we can do. It's okay to want to be on your own sometimes. And it's also okay to eat a banana lima bean split with your friends. I'll never forget this either. See you next time. Love, Todd. Hi, I'm Todd, and this is my world. Pickle's problem. <laughs> Today, we are digging for pirate treasure, and we know just where to look, because I drew this treasure map myself. Are you sure we're digging in the right place, Todd? We haven't found any gold coins, no jewels, not even a wooden nickel. I found the treasure! What? Uh -huh. That's not treasure, Benny. It is to me. This looks so good, I'm saving it till we get home. So where's the real treasure? According to this map, it should be right here. Where? Here. Just look for the little X. Uh, I think I hear my worms calling me. Pickle, pickle. Yeah, that's them, all right. It's time to feed them their worm chow. <laughs> See ya. Pickle's acting really weird. Pickle! <laughs> Oh, hi, Stella. Come here. I need you. You're just in time to act in my play. What play? It's called A Salute to Sparkliness. It's all about the pretty, glittering, shiny, twinkly things in life. Pickle, you will play a glittering star whose time has come to shine. A star? Me? Of course, you will just play a star in the sky. I will be the star of the show. The Queen of Diamonds. We begin. Scene one. The curtain parts with Glittering Star alone on stage. He looks up and he says... Glittering Star! That's you? Pickle! I don't know, Stella. What do I say? Oops! <laughs> I forgot. You need a script. Okay. And Glittering Star says... Uh, is that thunder I hear? <laughs> oh, yeah, sounds like rain. Better get back home and make sure the windows are closed. That's not your line. Got a jet. <laughs> But what about the show? And it's not even raining. I suppose I'll have to play the Queen of Diamonds and the Glittering Star. Scene one. The curtain parts with Glittering Star alone on stage. She looks up and she says... I think hamburgers on a stick are a great invention. Oh, I wish I'd thought of them. Uh -huh. And the best part is, if you get a stick with a smiley face on it, you want a free ice cream cone. Yep. Pickle, your stick! Oh, what was I thinking? 
I forgot to recycle! Heckle, you threw away a free ice cream cone stick! I... I did. What's wrong with you? I think that hamburger I just ate must be disagreeing with me. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. See what I mean? I'd better go home and rest. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs> hmm. Pickle was acting so weird before. He just threw away a free ice cream cone stick, and then he ran out of there in a big hurry. He did the same thing to us right in the middle of a treasure hunt. He walked out on my play, too. There's definitely something wrong with Pickle. We have to find out what it is. <laughs> Maybe we can tickle him until he talks. Or I could build a vacuum cleaner that can suck the truth out of his head. <gasps> I've got it. Let's dress up in disguises like super secret spies. Or we could just... I know. We'll ask him. Like he said. <gasps> Come on, everybody. Let's go find Pickle. Look at what I have! It's the latest incredible inchworm comic! <laughs> Take it easy! Take it easy! I'll read it to you as soon as everybody settles down. That's more like it! Me, I have to find my new <sighs> glasses. That's better. Now I can see. <clears throat> it's a trap! The incredible inchworm is caught! His old enemy, Dr. Mongo, sneers evilly as he says. Someone's at the door. <coughs> Who is it? It's us. Uh oh. I can't let them see me wearing these! Uh, stay there! D uh, don't come in! Pickle, are you okay? Fine, fine, fine. Stay put, I'll be there in a sec. Shh, don't say anything. Hey, Pickle. Hi. What's up, Pickle? Hello, Pickle. Sorry, I was, uh, giving the Worminis a bath. I didn't want them to go down the drain. Ahem. If you had to drag me away from that bone, the least you could do was say something. Pickle, uh, we couldn't help noticing that you were acting kind of strange before. Yeah. You ran away from us and seemed upset about something. You even gave up a chance to share the spotlight with me. I'm sorry. Don't be angry. Angry? Why would we be angry with you? We were worried about you. We just want to know if everything's okay. I didn't want to tell you, but I guess you'd find out sooner or later. Now don't laugh! You hate them, don't you? That's why I didn't want you to see them. Glasses are pretty icky. I'm not laughing. And I don't hate them. I'm just surprised. Me too. I didn't know you wore glasses. I just got them. I need to wear them to read. So that's why you didn't want to play pirates. You couldn't read the map. Or the script for my play. And it cost you a free ice cream cone. Now that's a shame. It's true. I don't want to wear my glasses in front of anybody. They make me look... <laughs> funny. Why do you think that? Well, maybe it's because none of you wear glasses. When I put them on, I feel... different. What's wrong with being different? Makes me feel bad. But everybody's different, Pickle. And glasses can be a great look. Now put on your glasses so you can see what I mean. We begin. Glasses are glamorous. Glasses look smart. You can see who's who because they set you apart. You can see where you're going. And keep your eyes protected. Why look like everyone else when you can look unexpected? 
I guess it's okay to be different. And I sure can read better with my glasses on. Good. There's still time to practice my play. Uh-uh. He should play pirates. First pirates, then the play. Oh, while wearing glasses. It's okay to wear glasses, especially when they let you have more fun. And they're especially helpful for finding lost treasure. Great math, Tom. <laughs>